So I'm gonna give my review of AW American Ninja Warrior season seven. Um, I really like this season. This season is another great season. Like everything else. I have my faults. Not every episode's good. I don't I didn't really like didn't really like the the Venice episodes. I just thought I don't really I'm not the biggest fan of the hourglass drop in general, really. Um, but I liked the competitors in Venice. Um, my favorite course would probably be... Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. That is an interesting question. Probably, uh, probably Orlando. My favorite episode is also from Orlando. Because it has that perfect mix of, I love the four titans of Orlando. Drew Dreschel, James Beast McGrath, Travis Rosen, Flip Rodriguez, and a great, great course. Qualifying and city finals. Bringing back Cannibal Alley and introducing new obstacles like Tire Run. And, you know, who doesn't like seeing the, the, log, the um, rolling log and, and the double helix and the invisible ladder. <clears throat> So yeah, um, uh, I think it's also great. Again, I said this for season my season six review, but it's also great seeing, you know, some top ninjas before they were top ninjas, like seeing Daniel Gill's rookie season or, um, or John Alexis Jr.'s rookie season, and being like, why wait till next season? Or, or um, man, you really are, you know, that great, you know. So, that, those are kind of feelings that I kind of really experienced with this season. And I guess revisiting this season, because this is like the first season that I like just fell in love with the show, season seven. So, that's a lot, again, just, I think, nostal- nostalgia does play a big factor in my love of this season. Um, the City Finals courses are, I think, not as a sort of the middle ground, but, but at a good rate, where it's like, they, they get finishers, but enough to realize, like, they try them. With the finishes. I mean, the editing is somewhat t- telling, especially in the city finals. Because if you had a s- slam bang, f- you know, finale, or like if there was, like, f- the final runner, for the majority of the time, is either the finisher. Like, for. Three out of the four times, it's the finisher. And three, and the other half, it's three times out of the six, the final runner is the finisher. And three times, the second to last runner is a finisher. So they don't really change it up in that aspect at all. But I guess in the moment, you don't really know that. Um, But afterwards, that is a kind of cool (laughs) editing um, ability and thing that happens, but yeah, um, Vegas is great, uh, I think stage one, I think is a little bit too easy, but stage two is that perfect, perfect middle ground, this is, this season, season seven, definitely has the best stage two, yeah, I'll honestly say that, um, I mean, we got a winner, Jeff Britton and Isaac. Yes, I, I, I don't, I don't really like that Jeff did not get any reward. At the very least, split the money, but they really should give out multiple. They should really be prepared to give out multiple million dollars, at the very least. Cause it's like, why expect otherwise? Like, I feel like it's not fair. Like, the course, not, like, it's like, you, ex- I think the problem that they had was that they never expected n- someone to finish, let alone two finishers. So they just threw in a rule just to have a rule. Not ever in a million years expecting two finishers in the same season. It happened. And so... The rule had to come into place. So I don't really fault them for that because they they didn't really... It's like they had the rule, but they didn't really expect to ever really have to play it. 
And the crazy thing is, they nearly had to use that rule twice. So yeah, stay tuned for videos coming right at you.